What's up, guy? This is KC Beast here, and today I got a review of Kendall Fuller's 97 overall color smash card. Now, of course, before we get there, guys, go ahead and drop a like on the video because it definitely helps out the channel. Along with that, if you guys are into player reviews, if you guys do like money schemes to get you down the field and you can score more points on any opponent, or if you guys are looking for coin making methods, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and then turn that notification bell on just so you're notified anytime we drop anything. All right, Kendall Fuller's coming in with 92 speed, 94 excel, 92 agility, 89 jumping, 97 play rec, 96 man coverage, 93 zone coverage, and 87 press. You could probably compare this card's stock to like Ty Law. He's definitely not a end game corner, but I do like, like I said before, that EA went ahead and they added cards that different, you know, theme teams can use. All these cards in this Color Smash promo are going to be fairly well on any theme team. But you kind of have to go by that. And that's one thing that I, that I noticed with these cards. Along with that as well, this card is great for a no money spent team. I would not put any superstar X factors on him. But if I was going to, I'd probably put Pick Artist, Universal Coverage, and Lurker, if that's what I was trying to do. Now, because cornerbacks don't, um, you know, break on the run too often, it's not really his fault the way he plays. It's just kind of the developers and the way the game works. Because I don't have him powered up, he's pretty slow. And you're going to see him make maybe a few good plays on here. But for the most part... Many of them are going to look like this, where he's kind of just getting outran or he's getting pushed back or held in place while somebody is running down his throat. Pause. Yeah, he can stop somebody from catching the ball when they catch the ball. He's really good at hitting right after the catch. However, he's not going to cause any fumbles because of that. And sometimes I did notice that he would end up like running past the guy in order to like swat the ball out of the air and missing the guy completely. Now, like I said, this could be the fact that I don't have him as a, uh, you know, powered up card. But I do know that, like I said, like right here was a great interception. He played fairly well for me initially. And then towards the end, he just started to show his true colors, uh, which is like this right here. See, he like goes for like a diving squat and misses it. And the guy ends up completing the catch on an out route. It's stupid, but it is Madden, and it's in the game. So you kind of have to work with it. Like I said before as well, he's a great theme team card. But I think besides that, um, maybe like a budget B, something that you can use on your squad. But I think there's other cards that are better than him. I think if you ask me, this is the my least favorite out of all the cards that were released with this Color Smash promo that I've used. I haven't used Matt Ryan. I'm pretty sure he's probably the worst. But this Kendall Fuller card, he didn't do anything too spectacular that I was like, oh my God, this dude's a baller. I need him on my team. But I also don't have him powered up. And like I said, I have pretty locked down corners right now. I got Deion Sanders and I have Jalen Ramsey. And that doesn't mean that they cover the whole field, but they, they play pretty damn well. And they're technically 99 overalls. So that's one thing you have to understand. There's a pick he got right there, one-on-one. -on -one. He's really good in these man situations. He kind of turns into like a man corner, even when you have him in the zone. However, look at him. You can't even see him right there. He's getting pushed out of the screen completely. You're gonna see him right here at the very end. And if you rewind that, you're gonna notice that on the run, he completely gets pushed or stopped in place and just kind of just sits there as like shit shimmies. Occasionally you'll have that where he kind of like moves the guy over and breaks for the, the runner. Deion Sanders does that every single time. And I don't know what that has to do with maybe play rec. I don't know, but I do know that he doesn't play like a top flight corner. And I wouldn't expect him to. You gotta get what you pay for. Now the cool thing is you can get this guy for free. So like I said, for all my no money spent guys, dudes who need a cornerback to play some sort of uh, part of your field and you need them to do it for free, this is a good card because through solos, you can get the card for free. You might pull him Nat if you do the whole color set for the, um, you know, the color smash promo. There's a couple of ways that you can get this card. 
and if not he's going for around 150 on the auction house right now which isn't too bad i'm sure some of you guys for your kansas city themes team he would be a great card i, I almost guarantee he'd ball out but he's short he's not bailey this catch that's crazy that's, that's amazing right tyree kill just, just juggled the ball made no sense i can't even blame that on him oh uh, yeah you can't even blame it on him look at this diving swat right here wow put his hand out gets the ball away from the guy it works out perfectly but it's not consistent enough for me to feel like he makes a difference you know um his reaction time isn't always the best and sometimes you'll see that if you ever put him on your team you'll notice that he'll miss some very crucial plays where like it'll go from third and 20 to first and 10 in the middle of the field because he missed the tackle and that really really irked me here's another one where he doesn't play his zone too well but i guess this guy kind of drew him out with the out route it is what it is um mad at mechanics you, can, you can't really blame that on the card here's another one though where he should have been playing that completely and he ends up making the tackle but he ends up missing his position and i had him on like a deep blue where he was he should have been able to um make that make that catch or at least cause some sort of disruption so kendall fuller when it comes down to it i think this card is definitely a budget is he a baller Eh. He's not, too incons he's not too consistent, but he will get the job done for you if you need him to for like a no money spend team or for, like I said before, um, a theme team. So this is KCB checking in and checking out. I will be bringing you a Mark Andrews review sometime later today. Um, besides that, I don't really know if there's anything else that I should do um, until tomorrow. I kind of want to give you guys like a what you should be doing before the promo ends and how to get ready for this next wave of cards that we're gonna be getting once Easter hits and we get all of Easter's, uh, you know, the rest of the promo with all these eggs and whatnot because there's gonna be a huge market crash and a lot of you guys have been asking me, yo, how do I build a team? How do I get a 98 overall, 97 overall like you? How do I, how do I build a no money spent team the way you're doing without spending any money? And a lot of you guys that started later on down the year, I'm sorry, but it's going to be a lot harder for you, but there still are ways for you to make some coins and to build your team. So if you guys do need some of those uh, tips and tricks, let me know down below and I'll be happy to create another video for you guys doing and showcasing some of those tips. Um, but yeah, this is KCB's checking in and checking out. Kendall Fuller is a B quarterback at best. C because it's free. B powered up, B plus, maybe an A range if you have them on a theme team. Uh, KCB's checking in, checking out. I've said that three times, I think, now. But this time, I really am checking out. And I'm going to see you guys next time. Take care.